channel my fashion friends welcome to my channel i'm katya and here i share everything you need to know to become a fashion stylist no matter what yes that means no matter where you come from no matter what your background is no matter your struggles no matter your size of the fashion market no matter if you have contacts or not no matter what like you can become a fashion stylist regardless of anything it's basically just your determination that will determine if you become one or not and your desire and passion and creativity well <laughs> those are extras but you know what i mean so today's topic is all about internships and yes in fashion world they are common they are important they're not necessary but I would say if you're not completely sure what you want to do, if fashion styling is something to pursue or not, I would definitely recommend you do the internship first because it's going to make you realize um, a lot of things. You're going to learn so much and you're going to get a glimpse of the fashion world, which the business is quite specific. It's not for everyone. You need tough skin and you need to be quite flexible on stuff and because it's a business where at the beginning you need to invest a lot of time and energy and also money uh, maybe you don't want to do that maybe you should make sure that this is something that you're really passionate about and that you want to do and internships are a good way to do that so the benefits of doing an internship in fashion industry and especially in fashion styling is not only you're gonna learn all the tricks of how you actually style and how you can make those garments look as perfect as they do in magazines because there's a lot that goes into that uh, but you're gonna learn the whole process of how to produce those photos we're talking about editorial um, uh, stylists now but um, it's similar when you translate this to let's say e-commerce or even costume design um, so yeah you're gonna learn all those behind the scenes things that you don't see when you're just flipping through a magazine um, you're gonna learn the whole process of how to conduct a photo shoot, the pre-production, production, after the production. Um, you're gonna meet a lot of the industry professionals as well as young, talented people who are just um, starting out, which is super beneficial for anyone at the beginning. Also, you're gonna meet a lot of designers. You're gonna go to showrooms. You're gonna... Um, you're gonna pull clothes so you're gonna meet all these people and um, that is super super important and super beneficial then you're gonna learn the etiquette of how it is to work with these people because it's very particular and if you don't work inside some very specific expectations then just forget about it um, <laughs> it's yeah it's tough working in fashion industry like if you don't do your part then you're super replaceable because there's literally a million people waiting to do this so if you're not super enthusiastic and super eager and super proactive um if you don't learn fast then this is probably not the business for you because it's super fast-paced and you always have to be thinking one step ahead so yeah the reason to get an internship is easy to find out if this is for you or not if you should pursue fashion styling or not gain all the knowledge get in all the insights learn all the tricks and network and get new opportunities um, if you're gonna be super amazing awesome the best um, then you know the opportunity of you landing a job is big let's move on where to intern the obvious choices would be at a fashion magazine or um, with another fashion stylist but there's 
a world out there of opportunities where you can learn this craft. Um, there's agencies, there's production companies. So depending on what kind of experience you want, who you want to work with, you can apply with like costume designers, um, which are AKA stylists, depending on what kind of work they do. If it's, you know, broadcasting or TV presenters or something like that, it's more stylist. If it's an actual movie or a um, series, then obviously it's more like costume design. Then you have music video production. You have talent agencies. You have all those e-commerce companies. There's literally a million gazillion of them and you can always find a stylist that needs an intern or needs an assistant, which interns, assistants, it's actually quite a similar experience, but um, yeah, with the difference that usually interns are not paid. Again, we are there. We should talk more about that, like why interns are not being paid. Maybe we should make a video about that soon. So what is important here, try to find, but obviously, I mean, this, this is something that you're gonna already know, like who are the stylists that you adore? Who, which are the magazines that you religiously buy every month? Like apply there, but you know, when you are applying and this is like, what I want to talk um, about next. When you're applying, you have to be so careful how you do it and put a lot of thought and a lot of time and energy in it because, for example, me as an editor at Elle, I receive applications and submissions and CVs on a daily basis and I don't have time to really go through them like it needs to be something super catchy that I would even open something that is attached in my email if the cover letter doesn't like spark my interest then forget about it so that is first thing like first you need to find somewhere where you like really want to intern and you would do it even if you know, if that's the last thing that you do on this planet. So something that excites you so much that you just need to do it. You need to intern there. Then you need to find the right contact. Find the person that is responsible for this. Don't just write to some generic email like info at l.si. No, like nobody checks that. Find the actual person who is responsible for internship submissions or HR or whatever. Write to that person, uh, study the magazine or company, know where you're applying for, um, make your CV stand out in a way that you state exactly why you chose there, why you want to do an internship there and why they should choose you, what makes you so special, so unique that you would also benefit the company in like... Because obviously the, the companies are not gonna have interns if they don't see potential in making them their employees. Like it's just a waste of time because it, it's there's a, a lot of time and energy goes into teaching someone the ins and outs of the industry. So think about that for a moment. So make your cover letter stand out. Be brief and to the point and just be like, I'm the shit, you're the shit, let's do this together. Not in those words, but you know what I mean. And same goes with the CV. Gosh, like, one more CV, like three pages of like squished up text where I cannot read anything. Like, no, I just close it. I don't even like, you can be the most amazing, most experienced person. And I'm never going to know because I cannot read your CV. So stop doing that. Like, just no, 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 let's stop doing that. One page, make it graphically interesting, make it fresh, 
make it, you know, like in the brand colors of the magazine of the, or the stylist so that he instantly notices and just put the most important things there, tailor it exactly to the company or stylist that you're applying for or magazine, like make it super brief and just nice and okay I'm gonna put like an example <laughs> somewhere so that you see what I mean but just like just don't go overboard just like I, I heard somewhere that recruiters usually um, take five seconds to look at the CV and I, I totally agree with that I, I think maybe even less than five seconds like I don't think I've ever spent more than three, three seconds you're literally like boom 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 okay yeah you work out okay I'm interested or it's just like okay I cannot read this like what the fuck is this okay close like done with it bye and then when you land your internship, how to be good at it and how to potentially get a job out of this. There are a few things. First of all, you have to realize that you're probably going to do some very shitty tasks that you think have nothing to do with interning um, as a fashion stylist. But then again, a fashion stylist is not just someone who styles clothes, it's also a very good teammate is also helping out other people on set is also catching uh, coffee for people is doing so many other things to make a nice environment especially when uh, you're doing photo shoots so no tasks should be too small and no tasks should be uh, like beneath you or whatever like just you know be a good worker good work ethic is super important in fashion people need to uh, see that they can rely on you so you need to always be on time uh, you need to execute things exactly how they tell you if you're not sure about anything ask please ask always ask three times if you need because if something goes wrong on at a photo shoot it could be, you know, thousands of euros, dollars, pounds lost because you screwed up on an outfit or something. So never be afraid to ask questions. If something does go wrong, um, you need to also realize that there is usually a lot of stress, a lot of pressure uh, involved. But, you know, don't take things personally I remember from my beginnings when I was assisting or interning and yeah there were a few times when lead stylists would uh, make me cry all oh, models would make me cry oh like, you know it's just it's tough everyone's under pressure to do the best they can so don't take things personally but also don't show your frustration your emotions on set take that home and cry in your pillow we all do it um, and yeah I hope you get a therapist as well if you work in fashion I highly recommend you that as well um, be very observant not only of what's going on in your area but also what other creatives are doing around you be proactive I think I um, already mentioned that but uh, once you get into that state after a few days when you learn about where everything is and how things work like try to foresee like um, what needs to be done and do it without saying anything um, everybody's gonna love that everybody's gonna love you and on top of this is if you're also resourceful which means like if you can find solutions to issues or you know if you can fix things before they even come and become an issue that's that's fantastic um, creative solutions uh, great ideas always very welcome uh, but keep in mind don't overstep your boundaries um, as an intern or assistant you're literally at the bottom of the food chain here so never speak up if you're not asked for your opinion don't try to outsmart anyone don't try to overstep your position and your duties be super respectful, be kind, optimistic, leave your shit in front of the door, don't bring it 
there. So yeah, it's only this few teeny tiny minor things and you should be fine and you should excel and probably gonna style the cover of Vogue in the next few years. So congratulations for that. Let me know if you have any issues, any questions, any struggles. I would love to help you. Um, do download my guide that is all about networking and the link is gonna be somewhere here. Um, and yeah, like, subscribe, send me hugs and kisses, please. And I hope you have a fantastic day and you learn something new. And now I'm just babbling and don't know how to end this, so bye.